I am Professor Bokoro, Head of Department of Electrical Engineering Technology Department. We are having our project day, and, and this is for the first time the BNG Tech students will be uh, 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 actually busy showcasing the project. So you can see for, you, uh, uh, for yourself what, what sort of project these ladies and gentlemen have been able to, to, to showcase. I am very much impressed by the, the, the quality of the project that these, these uh, young people have been able to actually put together. We, we create this opportunity to, to, to make sure that people from industry are able to come and see the kind of talents that we've been harnessing with this, this BNG Tech uh, student. So this is an opportunity also for the student to be exposed to their future employers, but more importantly, to actually get, as you might probably know, that the BNG Tech is, is quite a new and this is for the first time ever in South Africa that we're having a project day for the BNG Tech student. So I think it is an opportunity for this student to show people from industry what are this uh, what are they capable of. And and I'm, I'm I'm really impressed by the kind of work, the kind of talent that these people have actually showcased today. This is go it's going to go on, you know, uh, 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 for, for it, it's, it's basically, uh, uh, it's going to be every year in, 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 uh, in, in, in the life of the BNG Tech degree. Because like I say, this is an opportunity for people from industry to get to discover what is the BNG Tech all about, what sort of skills the BNG Tech, such as taught in our department, is actually able to offer to industry. And who knows, some of them, could actually be employed on the spot. So I think it is it is a very good opportunity that we as electrical engineering department we've, we've, we've come up with to, to, to actually try and create some space and some form of interaction between the student and their future employee, uh, employees. 80% of these projects are very much aligned with the fourth industrial revolution because this is the future. This is the future not only of, of, of the country but of the, the, the entire world. And we want to make sure that all our students, to actually increase their chances of employability, we wanted to make sure that these students can actually stage projects that are very much aligned with the Ford Industrial Revolution. The last thing is, you know, I cannot actually hold my breath seeing the kind of project that these young people, you know, when we started this project, we, we, we had many, many people actually did not believe in, in these students. They thought that these guys never had, never, they've never been exposed to industry. But what I see today, this is absolutely magnificent because these young people, right, could actually show, could actually prove to the world, to, to, to the entire, you know, uh, 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 South Africa, that what they're capable of. My name is Ruan and I'm a, I'm a representative of Axel. We are a medical company in the industry out there. We do a lot of medical equipment, distribution and installation and, and actually maintenance and repair them. And um, I was invited today to come and do the assessment on the BTEC, on, on, the, on the projects that was presented today. Hi, I'm Rian Finter from Mkoka Training and it was quite a nice experience to look at the uh, projects today. Name here is uh, Tini Herbst and I'm uh, representing Comair. So I'm, I'm from the uh, company Comair. Uh, we fly the, under the logo of the British Airways Comair aircraft as well as uh, Lula.com. And I'm responsible for the internship training. In other words, we took on a couple of uh, students from the past and they, do, they did the P1, P2 uh, through me. Overall project for me was quite good. Um, I was uh, quite impressed with the level of um, input from the students, the actual um, work, the work ethics that went into the project itself for me was actually very, very impressive for me. I saw a lot of talent out there, a lot of uh, design innovation. I saw a lot of uh, bright future in, in what I saw today. Very impressive. I really enjoyed the day. Um, it was nice to see all the projects of the students. It was uh, nice to also see the level of the projects, the enthusiasm of the students and what they managed to do. Yeah, very interesting today. 
I must honestly say I'm again very excited and enlightened about what I've saw. Uh, the the uh, tasks or the projects uh, is still very nice and amazing and it's, it's also a proof of the flexibility in the youngsters creation uh, creativity in terms of the various uh, projects they've been uh, uh, endeavored to have on display today and it's all exciting because I can see the standard is good and high and you can also see that they are very much engaged in what they are doing and for us as industry then that is definitely pleasing so for me what was important about the judging for me was um, did you make the project your own um, did you put a lot of a lot of emphasis in the project did you um, do your research on the project Did you represent your project properly for me it was important to see if you want to be um, the overall winner or if you want to enable to, to represent the best innovative projects how far did you go? How far did you actually innovate with your project? How far did you actually go in researching the product and representing, being, making it your own at the end of the day? Even though it's building blocks that were sometimes put together, for me it's very important to see how did you actually utilize the building blocks to get where you are today. For me what was important was to see what type of technology the student used and how the student used that technology and what part of that was his own work. Well, I don't see anybody that lost today. For me, everybody was a winner. Everybody gave them their utmost best. And sometimes it just takes uh, one step back to go two steps forward. But they mustn't see it as a step backward. They must just see it as a, a smaller step to get to the top. Good luck to UJ, the institution, who does all the hard work. And uh, I can only say good luck and everything of the best for the future. Also with, with respect to the youngsters may uh, their lives fall into place in terms of one day if they finish with their studies to uh, <laughs> get a job opportunity.